I guess I'm just a smooth operator. <laughs> hey yo, this crazy talk. I'm crazy. Well, really not really, but I got some news you can use. If you're not challenging yourself mentally and physically every day, then you're missing out. Alright? For the last 30 days I did two miles every day before six o'clock in the morning. Call it the two before six challenge. You might have seen it online. You may have not seen it online too though because I was the only one doing it. But that's neither here nor there. Actually, that is here. When we get there, I'm gonna talk about that. But that's not what we're talking about right now. Alright, we're talking about, you know, this two before six challenge. I ran two miles before six every day for 30 days, and this is what happened. So on this video, I'm gonna show y'all the ups, downs, the highs, and the lows, you know, all the things I learned about my 30-day challenge, my 246 challenge, you know what I'm saying? So, bam, hit that like button, hit that notification button to subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Get them alerts so when I drop these vids, you know, y'all know what it is, so, you know what I'm saying? Just follow me, follow this journey, and I'm gonna show y'all what I learned. You might be thinking like, why? Cray, why would you be waking up six o'clock in the morning before six o'clock in the morning running two miles you know what i'm saying why would you be doing that i'm gonna tell you just calm down i heard this quote by david goggins he said when you get when you can get to when you let me start over i heard this quote by david goggins and he said when you can get through things that you don't want to do on the other side is greatness and i was like oh that's deep and that's what she said too but anyways like when you can when you can push yourself to do things that you don't want to do, like for me waking up at six o'clock before six o'clock and also running two miles, like that was difficult for me at first. And it was like nothing that I did the night before or nothing that I had planned prior prior or later on that day was gonna stop me from doing my two miles before six. Like it don't matter what I was doing, like I could have smoked a whole lot or drink a whole lot or party the whole lot i could be up all night and it don't matter i'm still gonna wake up and do my two miles before hey. six if you ain't never seen dedication if you don't know what dedication look like check me out this it right here this it right here yeah man yeah man yeah man hey this don't get no easy i'm just getting stronger you did no days off. You must have thought I said four days off. There was a time where I was going out of town for a family reunion or a family. My big mom was turning like 98, I think she turned. And a lot of people went down to Memphis for her party. And I took the train with my family. And they're on the train. I was on the train from like 10 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. And so that wasn't going to stop me from doing my two miles. I actually ran my two miles i drove my two miles on the train uh some sometimes i got up and walked around in the train and then i sat down in my seat and ran in on the train but nothing was gonna stop me from doing my two miles you know before six o'clock i seen some people's videos where they saw the weather was raining so they was like oh i'm not running today but the rain wasn't gonna stop me i ran in the rain you run you gonna go home and take a shower anyway why not get wet you know what i'm saying ain't nothing wrong with getting wet <laughs> you do what i'm saying so i said earlier that people wasn't doing this challenge with me and i'm not i'm not you know what i'm saying i don't care but i want to let y'all know that when y'all trying to work out trying to exercise or trying to lose weight or trying to do anything trying to start any type of journey it's good to have people that will be there to support you and be there to go to the gym and hit the gym with you but you know what I'm saying the only person that you need is gonna be you you know what I'm saying don't really depend on other people because sometimes they won't be there but the only person that's gonna always be there for you is you so keep that in mind you know so when I'm waking up and, and at first I was wanting people to go work out with me 
And nobody wanted to come work out with me. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But, you know what I'm saying? None of my guys hit me up like crazy, man. Let's get up and go. Well, actually, some people did, but they really, they wasn't, you know. I was doing it by myself, as you can see in these videos. But, so instead of challenging other people and, and calling other people out, I really just challenge myself. You know, when, I, when I'm running on my miles, I'm trying to beat the time I beat yesterday. Or when I'm running, I can get to this distance by this time, so let me try to get beat that time, you know, the next day. You know, I'm challenging myself. I'm calling myself out, you know what I'm saying? I, if I wake up by this time, let me beat that time and, and do it all over again, you know, because I'm, I'm going to always be there for myself. So... That's, I, that's something that I learned about, you know what I'm saying, this journey is that you don't really need nobody to be there with you running these miles because, you know, what what is that going to do for you? You know what I'm saying? If somebody else is working out, that's not going to do nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? You need to be there for yourself. You get what I'm saying? You understand me? I also want to let y'all know when I was running, jogging, Doing these miles, my two for six challenge. Not one day, that's two, but not one time was I listening to music. I had my beats on, my beats by Dre. I wasn't listening to the music. Imagine how much, imagine how much, how many songs we know the lyrics to, word by word, that we don't sit down and, and write the lyrics out. We just learn these songs by just listening to the music over and over and over again, right? Without even studying the lyrics. So imagine how much you would know if you just took the time out to learn or listen to something educational. You know, so like if you wanted to learn how a lighter was made and you just typed in on YouTube, how, do, how does a lighter get made? There would be a whole bunch of videos of that. You can just listen to them all, all, all day, you know. And then by the end of the day, you're going to learn, you're going to know how a lighter was made instead of, you know, these songs that's on the the radio that we're gonna talk about that in a different video sometimes we know the songs the lyrics to songs that we don't even like we just know them because we hear them so much so instead of feeding your brain useless lyrics about songs that you don't like why not listen to something that's gonna help you get to your next level you dig what i'm saying hey yo i just want to come on here and holla at y'all real quick well, I'm doing this little morning jog. I bought some information I found out yesterday. They just blew my mind. Let's talk about the benefits. The benefits of running two miles before 6 a.m. every day for 30 days is one obvious benefit is gonna be the weight loss. I think I lost about 15 pounds, but if you run running 30 days, like a mile or two and not eating heavy you should definitely lose some weights and you can get better with running your cardio there's a lot of benefits you can develop a lot of mental toughness a lot of mental strength a lot of self-discipline i learned to be okay with waking up early in the morning but sometimes i didn't wake up early in the morning sometimes i stayed up to 12 and then did my two miles that way i could sleep in i learned how to finesse my own system you know what i'm saying I guess I'm just a smooth operator. <laughs> yeah, man. I heard the rain with it. Walk. Because I said I would. Since you ain't here to catch the sunrise, I thought I'd get it free. Yeah. Top of it. Day 28. Craig feeling great. Two miles before six. You did. All right, so I was posting a lot of my journey running and jogging online on social media, and my guy Adam hit me up like, bro, I see you out here. It looks like you're training for a fight. And then, you know, that's what I am doing. You know, so I like to take the time now to let y'all know that, you know, next month on the 14th, I will be um, taking my first fight. And <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I told him, like, bro, 
that was a good comment because it made me think like I am training for a fight, but not no boxing match and not no uh, wrestling match. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sean. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to come take your belts, but I am, and we all are training for. We all should be training for this fight that we fight with life. You know this battle that we fighting for life. My mom got cancer. She got pheochromocytoma, and that's a rare cancer that one out of ten thousand people get. So. One day I am going to get that phone call that she's not here with me no more. Or I'm going to call her and she's not going to answer the phone. And that's a, that's a fight that, you know what I'm saying, that's going to be a tough fight for me. And I don't want to break down. A lot of times we get put in these situations or put into uncomfortable situations. We don't know what to do. We break down because we ain't never been there before. You know what I'm saying? So when you put yourself in these tough situations and these tough times and you show yourself and you show your brain that you can overcome these situations, when you get put into other tough times or other situations, you're going to be able to be like, oh, we did that. You know what I'm saying? I got you through that before. I'm going to get you through that again. You know what I'm saying? Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Boom. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to move on from that. In conclusion, if you want to get in better shape, lose some weight, um, and develop a better mental toughness, you should try this 246 challenge or any type of 30 day challenge where it's going to push you to um, challenge yourself mentally and physically. So if you got any um, suggestions on any type of challenges you want me to try, leave them in the comments below. I am right now on the 7 day vegan challenge. This is day 2. I haven't eaten today because I don't really eat a lot, but yesterday I had a uh, vegan pizza. It was alright. It was pretty cool. I'm going to talk about that after I'm done with that 7 day challenge. Um, but yeah, challenge yourself to do something mentally and physically. You know what I'm saying? Tekoy, T-C-O-Y. Take care of yourself. Until then, I'm out.